What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Dominaria draft here on Magic Online. But we might as well call it the Jaya's Immolating Inferno draft because we open it every time. Or we get past it every time. But either way, we're taking it because it's just that good. And we're going to try to build around it. Because obviously you want legendary gentlemen and ladies. And if we're picking Jaya's Immolating Inferno first, I might as well take this Fire Fist Adept because this guy's also very good. And we'll take this Goblin Barrage. Oh my god, look at this. All four of these are gas. What do they take? There's the rare and all three uncommons are in the foil are still in the pack. Two cards were better than Weight of Memory, Slime Foot, Goblin Barrage, and Yawgmoth's Vile Offering. I have no idea what to make of that. Also, no one told me that my microphone is the bad microphone right now. No one told me that I was using the... You guys are just terrible. Is that better? All right, that should be better. That should be significantly better. <coughs> yeah, you couldn't hear me because I was switching it over. Let me know if this is better. It should be much better. I took, <clears throat> we took Goblin Barrage because I think Weight of Memory is amazing. I think Slime Foot is amazing, uh, and I think um, Yogmoth's Vile Bargain Yargle, Yargle's Bargle Offer Offer Argle is also good, um, but. I think it's just better to stay red here because we don't know what's going to happen. It's probably Journey Mage. Again, I think Tiana's great, but we do want Wizards for Fire Fist Adept. And if we take Tiana, we're probably not going to have too many Wizards. So that kind of negates one of our earlier picks. So I'm going to take the Gitu Journey Mage. I think Tiana's stronger. Don't get me wrong. But I want to stick with our theme here. Skirk Prospector's fine with Barrage, but it's also not very... It's also not very strong. Legendaries is good. That's true. We do want legendaries for this. Um, that was another another aspect. There's a lot of aspects to drafting this format, which I think is good. Um, I think it's very... I think that makes for good drafting because you have a lot of decisions to make. Uh, I think it's Sentinel. I've been more impressed with Sentinel the more I played it. This is a human wizard, actually. Huh. Does black have... A, how many wizards are in black here? I'm going to find out. Are there a lot of black common wizards? We've got seven seconds. Oh, there's literally just that one. All right. Well, we're not going to do that. I'll just take this guy. <clears throat> uh, Kelden Raider. Vodalian Arcanist is a wizard. Kelden Raider is a wizard. No, he's not. i just just kidding. That was the only wizard. Man, I can't believe the mic was so bad at first. So sorry, guys. So it's either Raider or Arcanist here. This is good with Jai's Emulating Inferno. Raider is just a solid body, though. I think we'll go Raider. I don't think we're actually necessarily blue just yet. This is a weird wizard. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about you, wizard. No, that that mic. Uh, Quacker, what's going on, buddy? And and we got a Lafoof in the chat. My God, it's like a draft boys reunion here. Love it. I want to take this frenzied rage. I guess none of these other cards are that good. I don't know how I feel about that pick. I don't know how I feel about many of these picks. None of this pack is just this pack is like the worst of the worst right here. I think this take this turtle, I guess. I don't even know. I'll take Cyclops here. I don't like Cyclops. I'll take Warlord. Oh god. Now I'm wishing I took the Arcanist because I don't have a two drop, whereas I don't I don't really want two but I think Raider is better than Cyclops by a large margin. A large marge. 
in. Fervent Strike. All right, so we could just, we're basically Mono Red. <clears throat> I wonder if Fervent Strike's just playable. I feel like it might be. Has anyone drafted the eight lobster mill deck? Is that a mill deck? Is that a deck or did you just make that up? Yogmoss Vile Offering number two. Okay. <clears throat> well, that's a thing, isn't it? Good lord. This card's very good. We have no legends right now, though. I feel like we might just take this, hope for the black, all the black green legends, all the black red legends. Like, I don't think it's Flame of Keld. Uh,. I don't think it's... Vi if I'm going to take a black card, I'm going to take this and just hope it works out. Yes, Large Marge was the was the trucker. Tell him Large Marge sent you. That was from the Pee Wee Herman movie, yeah. I want to take Offering, and we're just going to we're gonna build around this, because I think that's stronger than anything else we have going. Oh, well, Planeswalker is pretty good. I don't think this is... This is the weakest Planeswalker by a large margin. I don't even think she's great by a large Marge in... I don't even think she's great in this format. But she's a Planeswalker, and she triggers both of these. So I have a hard time not taking this. Plus, adding three for a Jai's Emulating Inferno on the following, following turn is pretty good. Take the Gruel, pass the walk. Wow, that was a great Godfather reference there. You guys are... You guys want you guys want me to pass the Planeswalker? I feel like I constantly get Jai Ballard, Jai Simulating Inferno decks far too frequently in Limited. Far too frequently. It's uncomfortable how frequently I get them. Like, the problem with this guy is we're not kicking anybody, right? And, like... Like, we have no card... We have literally zero cards that we can kick in our in our... In our deck right now. Plus, this works with both of these. So it's kind of where you want to be. Wow, Slinvada. And a, and a Karn's Temporal Sundering. People just love giving us the Temporal Sunderings. I think people know these are traps, and I'm still falling into them. I'm like, ooh, legendary sorceries. Mm, yes. And uh, everyone else is like, no, dude, stay clear. I'm not 100% on you yet. I might want you, though. And bring bring our buddy back. I'm like I, I don't know we're we're split here. The cards the cards are really kind of all over the place here. I think this is the best card in the pack. Uh, you know if you can cast it. First eruption is that good? First eruption on three, you deal one damage to the non floaters. Maybe this is good in our deck. You deal one damage to the non floaters. Next turn, you add two. So on turn four, you'll have six mana. So you can play like a Jaya or a Fire Fist Adept or something. And then you got a Sack of Mountain, though. I'm going to take this Arcanist. I think the Arcanist is probably better. Sacking. So on turn two, this happens. On turn three, on turn four, on turn... Four. Sacking a Mountain on turn five doesn't seem ideal. I'm going to take the wizard and... Oh, all right, well. I probably will... Wow, this, this is the same pack. Fire Eruption, Grun. I'm probably going to take... Or first Eruption on Fire Eruption. I'm going to take Syncopate. How dare you talk about Arcanist like that? It blocks all the 2-2s, two which are plentiful in this format. It ramps you for things like both of these. How dare you? You draft boys. You guys are so ridiculous. I thought this was another one. I was like, three! I actually just... I also want this because the if we start the wizards, wizard, 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 then we're good to go. So I'm going to take this other wizard. We're going to get... We're just all... We're full on wizards now. Are we going to put the target two? Shove it out. We have... Yeah. No. Let's take a bird. Good lord. How many... How many red sagas are we going to see here? Oh, the answer is a lot, dummy. <coughs> I'm going to take... I don't know. None of these are great. I'll take a little bird. What up, little bird? Oh, yes. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Triple Journey Mage? Deal. I'm working on a Salt High Standard Brew. Just a heads up. If it's if it's good, you should send it to me. If it's not good, you should send it to me, too, because I'll and then I can laugh at you. 
but like you know in a friendly way we'll we'll have a good laugh at you know it'll kind of be at your expense but not really oh my god we got it we have an, so we have an elk tears a lafof and a quacker in the chat right now what a time to be alive guys what a time to be alive Um, I don't care about any of these cards, to be quite honest. I'll take the bargain in case we end up being black. I don't think we're going to end up being black. I'm not going to play a second Rampaging Cyclops or a Skirk Prospector, so... Yeah, Orcish Vandal's not terrible, but we don't have artifacts for it. Sentinel can come back in. Even if you just play this guy as a 3-3 Flash blocker, it's pretty good. Ooh, what's this? What's this job going for? Legendary sorcery. Man, that's so sad that it doesn't work with like legendary. <clears throat> eh, Mox Hammer's only like three tickets, which is unfortunate because I'd rather take that. It's like four, but I'd rather take the Tetsuko for our deck. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, it's got to be Tetsuko. We're passing a Mox. What a weird time to be alive. Take the Moxley. Wow. Doubling down on the... Yeah, it's got to be Tetsuko. <clears throat> it, because of the legendary, because of the unblockability. I didn't get a notification. How? I wonder... Huh. Huh. Well, then that's something. I, I, I noticed you. Does that count? Also, I really like this Cloud Nurse thing, so I'm going to take the Tetsuko. Mox is like four ticks. I can't. I got to take the card that's good for our deck. I don't really feel like dealing with the, the... I don't feel like dealing with the YouTube hate. Why didn't you take the ma, the good card for your deck? And every time we, we needed a, a legendary creature, we're going to be like, wish we had a Tetsuko. God, I really hope we get some more legendary creatures, by the way. I'm just going to take Syncopate. I'm going I'm to Syncopate. I really do want to splash this. But we have nothing to help that at this point. I'm going to take Syncopate. Yeah, Thorn Elements is great, but... Here we go. That can help us splash. No, nah, just kidding. All right, now we have a Skittering Surveyor. That's pretty okay. Keldon Overseer is pretty okay. I think it's Skittering Surveyor. This guy draws this card. See, now I'd be tempted to splash for this Rona because a well a there's nothing good in this pack, and b um she can get back this and well not this because it's exiles but. I think the Rona's actually special now because we have the Skittering Surveyor. So that's pretty cool. Yargle, we've come to Bargle. I guess it's just Phoenix here. I'm not thrilled about any of these packs. It might be Jousting Lance. Is it Jousting Lance? Whoa, that's pretty sweet. I didn't know that was a notification on here. $5 by Patreon. Thanks so much, Nick. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. Is it Lance or is it Warcry Phoenix? I think it's actually Lance. Oh, this is exactly what we wanted. Ah, it's so good for our deck. It's a wizard. It pumps all these wizards. It's legendary. It's everything I've ever wanted. Look, our third. It's our third Grun that we've seen. All right, we're going to take this. Which is probably better than the Rage. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's just a meme now, right? This is just a meme. What? The? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'll take the dull radiant. <clears throat> All right, you, 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 you pulled my finger, Magic Online. You pulled my, you pulled, you twisted, my, pulled my finger. No, that's for farts. Uh, you twisted my leg, twisted my arm, twisted my arm. That's what it is. It's break a leg, twist an arm. No. You don't twist an arm. I'll take this. This is actually solid for us. How many... How many Keldon war callers is too many? Alright, now we're just clipping both these bad boys. Burner. 
Okay. <clears throat> well, yes, we could have played Tatiova with Compass and Surveyor, but we had neither of those at the time. Otherwise, I would have taken Tatiova 100% of the time. I don't think I'm... I think I'm the last person you could ever accuse of not being risky with my splashes. The problem was we had neither of those at the time. So... Significantly different. Take the glider out. Um, 25 cards. Good lord. I need you to tell Quacker 2000 to never just come as a playable card. And if you're non Yeah, it 100% is. It 100% is. I didn't think it was either. It really is, though. It enables entire strategies. What does Sentinel do for us? I could take out one syncopate. I could see that. I was surprised you didn't take it because you're, well, you. Yeah, that's fair. Um, yeah, the reason was, like, I think our deck was good, but, like, I didn't want to go ham on the Splashums. I think four 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 legendaries is, is a good amount. Especially when one of them is a planeswalker, that's pretty cool. I can cut a raider, but they're just a they're just a big dude. I'd rather cut the Sentinel because they're not blinking anything relevant. They're only blinking like a Jaya Ballard. I guess we could actually blink a Skittering Surveyor. Ooh, that's cute. Or a Navigator's Compass for a free extra life. Bargain? What do you ask? What are you saying with bargain here? You wanna play bargain? I don't hate that. Guys, can we not fight over Navigator's Compass? It, trust me, it's not worth fighting over. It's not great. It's just it, it's just a necess it's a necessary evil in this format, I think. Oh, offering. Oh god. I forgot we had that. I mean, if we're going to play these th three already, oh jeez. Keldon Warcaller is not great. I can easily cut one of those guys. I do like Arcane Flight Coldwater Snapper. That's cool. Oh my god. Yeah, we'll cut Sentinel now. Oh boy. This is a deck. This is a deck, my friends. I think we might want two black at this point. Yeah, I would say that as well. We do have Compass, though. Oh, we have Compass and Skittering Surveyor, which is three sources of black for two black cards. I think one is fine. Uh, we're going to go like 7 9 seems good. Oh boy, this deck looks spicy. Look at all these friggin' legendary rares that we got here. Look at this legendary sorcery dot deck over here. All right, dude. <clears throat> if anyone figures out how many legendary sorceries we have in our deck, it's over. They're just gonna they're just gonna nuke the every legendary that comes down. You suck, Lefauf. You ever think about that? He never thought about that. He had no idea. <clears throat> Chris, you got to put a card in for you got to put uh, it's, it's command card and then Yogmas file offering. He knows he's. <laughs> oh dear! Oh god! I don't know if I keep this hand. It's got all the mana we've ever wanted. It's got this little nerd, but that guy doesn't do anything. I should be like, hey, how aggressive is your deck? I'll keep it. How risky are you feeling? Pretty risky. Oh, God, I get rewarded. I don't know what Pizza Girls... I don't even know what you're saying right now, Casual Calamity. I have no idea what's going on. I want to block all those guys. Do you hear what I'm saying? Oh, the combo. <clears throat> Lafouf, was that you who won? I forgot your name. So, you know, I... You know, it's just... I didn't, I didn't even remember that happened. So, um...
Key two journey mage equals pizza girl because look at the art. All right, I'll, I'll try to figure this. Oh, they're two twos now. All right, well that's sad. I don't like your friend. I don't like your friend here. I'm tempted to just put the flight on this guy so I don't take a million. That seems bad though. So we're gonna take four, and then we play a land, and then we take another four, and then we play Fire Fist that up to kill this guy. All right, whatever. <clears throat> All right, well, now when they kill this guy, I feel like we're one thousand. We're we're in one thousand percent worse shape, so that's good. Oh wow! All right, well you got a, you got a trick here, I guess. So we'll block the the one dude, I guess. Two for one me. What a gift. Yeah, sure. I mean, we couldn't not do that, so. I guess we could have, but that doesn't seem good. They're literally like, play play two one ones, play a 2-2. Two -two. That's all I need. Play a 3-1 here so I can kill it. No, that's a 3-2. I think you misunderstand the rules of the game here. I wish I had another wizard. Boy, how could I have done... How could I have made that happen? Deal one to this... Deal one to this gentleman, because it doesn't matter. It's okay. You guys You guys can say... You, guys, you, you kids can say bulls in the chat. It's okay. You talk about your bulls all you like. It's fine. <clears throat> I like that if we block here, we go to one. That's pretty cool. Oh, I think we're just dead. They're probably going to do a thing. They're going to do a whammy. Just do your whammy, man. Wow, you, Chris, you told me I was 47. Good lord, man. Good lord. What? Alpha here put me to one. Why would you not? Why wouldn't you not kill me? <laughs> I'm tapped out. Why wouldn't you kill me there? All right, you got it, but you don't deserve it. <laughs> I feel like you just. I have to protect my fungus at all costs, even if it means winning the game. Okay, buddy, you do you. That was very strange. I was only 47 years... I love it. There was a comment recently on YouTube, and they're like, wow. You want to see Britney Spears, and you're, or not Britney Spears, uh, Taylor Swift, and you're like 40, you're, and you're in your 40s. And I was like, but I'm not. <laughs> Why do you think I'm in my 40s? I feel like my the white hair betrays the rest of my face. Like, I don't feel like I have a 40-year-old face. But I feel like the gray hair really, really aids in that. I feel like if I dye my beard, I'm no longer a 40-year-old man. And I'm not a 40-year-old. I'm not in my 40s. That's ridiculous. Oh, God. Did I hit Mulligan? I don't want to hit it again accidentally. Oh, you're serving up a, you're serving up a pizza. Oh, that's hilarious. It's like, a, it's like going, she's putting it into the coal, the, the coal oven, the, the wood-fired oven. That's funny. Uh, this hand's significantly better. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, give me all the mages I can ha I can handle, all the pizzas you can eat. Imagine how that game would have gone if you had Mox Amber. Oh, I would say worse, but you know, I don't know. This is why is this a war like? I hate this because there's literally like one wizard in the format that costs less than three. Actually, there's the one drop, I guess. But, God, don't make people play that. Is Deadpool 2 next week? I thought it was the week after that. Oh, my God. Time flies when you're watching Infinite... God, Marvel movies just can't stop coming, and I'm just totally okay with it. 
Like, there's a Marvel movie, like, every two weeks. And they're all very good, so it's okay. If you can have conversations about Dying Beard, you're in the... That's not... But I'm not, though. I'm not 40, so it does I can't be in the club just, like... I also, um... So, I had back surgery, like, 10 years ago. Uh, I have no idea what caused it, what caused the, uh the issue but um i heard that having anesthesia anesthetic like you know being knocked out for surgery or what, what wow all right is uh is a, is a source of premature graying so <clears throat> there's no way they're trading here so it was not ideal chris but i mean like all things considered it it worked out for the best so so back when you were 30. God, you guys are the best. I didn't think I could love <clears throat> a chat this this much, but here we are. Here we are. Oh, it's a little bird. Oh, hello little Oh, no more attacks, huh? You're not feeling not feeling as aggressive, huh? As you once were, not feeling as spry. <clears throat> well, we're gonna play. We're gonna get in there with this guy. And I don't care who I trade with. Am I going to GP Vegas? I have not decided yet. I'll trade. I'll trade. I'll make that trade. I don't even care. Look at all my pizza girls. I don't. That's hilarious to me. I have no idea. Uh, that's just hilarious. So we need a land or a legendary creature. Both of these things are good. Have you heard what happens in Vegas? I have heard that, actually. That what happens in Vegas stays there. <clears throat> My god. Should we do, like, a stream where, like... Or, uh... Should we do, like, a... A Vegas donation goal so that I can... You guys can... We can all hang out in Vegas and have cool times. Oh, look at this Fire Fletcher. Where'd the black man... Look... What are they... They overpay for that guy? Oh, because they forgot about their familiar... Yeah, that's fine. Wow, you're getting in there with this guy? This little this little bird? What up, bird? Casual Calamity, thank you so much for saying so. I appreciate that. That is great. Uh, I'm actually going to kill this guy. Because then they have two profitable blocks. If I kill this guy, they they have or they have they have one profitable block, which is this one. If I kill this guy, they still have two profitable blocks. So I'd rather just get rid of this guy. Long term, this is the better, the better murdered guy. Uh, I will never, I will not be sharing a bed with Mike because that is a ridiculous proposition. But I appreciate the offer. Oh, this is a fine trade. Oh, you got the plus two, plus two, though. So I guess we're not trading, but... I still think that's fine. If you're using the trick on your trampler in defense... Deal. Sounds just fine to me. I don't hang out with 40-year-old dudes. Creepy. Wow. Leo Magic. Wow. All right. Here we are. Oh, they didn't attack with Joyra's Familiar. Interesting. I mean, I feel like Mammoth Spider holding the ground pretty good. But what do I know? What do I know? The answer is not much. Wow, multiple familiars. How familiar? <sighs> if we get to it, come on. Come on, legendary. It's going to be a Rona. It's going to be Mountain. All right, I guess we're at a stalemate here. 
I feel like they could have attacked with this Jorah Smear. But what do I know? Again, what do I know? Nothing. The answer is nothing. I know nothing. I feel like we're going to be dead here. This is not going to be our idea. Wow, this is a lot of spiders, dude. I wish I had a blocker for your little birds. So we have like three turns. We go to 10, then we go to 6, then we go to 2. Magic, you son of a biscuit. If we get compass, we can play Rona. All right. It's got to be like, well, it doesn't make, I, I'm not going to accuse them of ghosting. I don't think there's any, any evidence for that. Wow. Wild onslaught it is. All right. Well, this is marginally better. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're just dead if they have wild onslaught. It's whatever. Pretty sure we're dead anyway. Yep. Obviously they have it. Goblin Barrage would not have done it. Island would not have done it. <clears throat> I mean, I feel like that's a completely different game if we draw, uh, you know, the one one of our four legendaries. I didn't bargle enough. You're one hundred percent right. Yeah, I'll keep this. Maybe. Probably not. This I will keep. And you can stay, and this hand looks really good. All right. I got excited because I thought they went to 6-2, but turns out they went to 7 and played a land. It's not the same. Oh. Didn't mulligan, but missed the land drop. I'm intrigued. Questionable decisions here. Huh. Well, you had a land. You're gonna vicious hunger this guy? I'll take it. Oh, vicious hunger him instead. Yeah, I think we're gonna win this race. If you want a vicious hunger, my G2 journey mage, that's fine. Uh favorite color pair in this format? Um, I think blue white's pretty strong. I think blue red has been my default go to as far as like good decks have gone. Uh obviously the first round was not indicative of that. Oh. We see what it just fungal infection this guy and Huh. <laughs> what is happening right now? Oh my god. Yeah, I'll keep the triple fungus infection hand. This is very strange. I'm just going to hold this guy back to start eating saprolings. <clears throat> I don't really feel like this is a... Well then. Hey, look at that. It's all happening. Oh, we're bringing in both Radiant Lightnings, make no mistake. Not yet, not yet. Alright, so we attack, you go block, 
So you block with everything. You get to deal three, four, five, and then you trade. Did they not block last time? They just took five? Weird. Yeah, also Compass with Goblin Barrage is pretty aces. I don't think we're at a point where we want to kick it yet. Yep, that's pretty good. No, we're not going to kick it yet. Like, we can still need double blue for certain things. And Oh, that was a great draw. Hooray! We don't want to attack at this guy and then just triple block. And it's just trading a 1-1 one -one for a 1-3. God, Dry is emulating Inferno in the... Maybe maybe we should have. Maybe we should like now now we're looking back at it, we probably should have kicked it, but So if you want to like block with everything and trade with Journey Mage, that's fine. I'll trade a spider for a journey mage. Or I can just keep eating these guys. So, yeah, that's fine. All right. We're waiting on a legendary. We have two of these and four legendaries. So I, I, I feel like we could draw at least one legendary before we would draw one of these. But they have two cards in hand. Here we go. I'll put you in the front. Yeah, that's pretty. This is going to be bad. Oh, God. Wild Onslaught decks. Sure. Never didn't have it. <clears throat> Oh, I think the Lance is fine. Plus two, plus oh, and first strike is really good on the ground. Yep, that's a dude. Hmm. So we just literally have no way to get through a, a four six now. That's that's great. And now we're just hoping they don't discard my Jaya's Emulating Inferno. But, like, even if we play a Legendary, like, our cheapest Legendary is 3. Which leaves us with 1 mana Emulating Inferno. 1 damage Emulating Inferno, so. Yep. And, alright. Well, that's that. I guess we're hoping we can play everything in our hands. Probably not. We're just going to draw Vile, Vile Offering here. Confirmed simulation. Oh boy. <clears throat> Having a good time playing some Magic the Gathering. Yep. Good times, good times. The pain in your eyes is enjoyable. What a weird thing to say. Legendary. Uh, I'd rather discard this mountain than have you draw land. This is this is going to be one of the fastest O threes I've ever seen. Apparently.
This is what happens. <laughs> oh my god. It's a good Big Lebowski meme. Sure. This guy's not doing us any good. So. I wonder if there's anything we can draw to get us out of this mess. <laughs> so close yet so far. We can get a 4 4 flyer. We're just going to have to discard it anyway, right? So. Might as well, I guess. Makes every other creature they have worse. Except for this guy. So I guess we have to just block here anyway, so. If we block here, we take four or five, six, seven. Yeah, we're dead anyway. So I don't know. Why. This is I, this is this this is just amazing. It's three, which leaves us with Quacker. Thank you for clipping that, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, we're, the quote about mountain is, is that they're they're my favorite land. That's that's the quote. All right, I. Uh, These are all legendary, right? I put them in my deck, right? I don't understand. Oh boy. All right, this is it. This is the game. This is the one we're gonna do well in, okay? Not messing around anymore. Yes, dead on board. Thank you, Matthew Ori. I understand, buddy. <laughs> Jeez. Oh. Land. No, I was asking for a lot. A third land is... It's a lot. It's a lot to ask for. Oh, I got the Jaya passed to me. It's always passed. I've, I don't open Jaya's. They get passed to me. Okay. Well. I like this better because if we actually drew a land, we wouldn't have been able to counter this guy. And now... We still don't get a land. Okay. You know what my favorite part about playing Magic is? It's the watching. <sighs> sure. Because why wouldn't you splash white for your rare angel flying that pumps your team hey I heard you need a land I'll give you the next best thing it's kind of like a land look you could tap it for uh, for the for the manas oh well thank you well, I don't know why magic online sounds like a New Yorker but I guess that makes sense yeah, look at that guy. Oh, oh, an island. Your fa I don't even know why we're playing this game out. <clears throat> yeah, I love it when people have uh like they they have no lands in their opening hand and they're like, "Oh, but the hand was so good." And it's like, "Yeah, dude, all hands with no with no with all spells are very good." I feel really bad like I jinx your stream. It's the first time watching live and all this is happening coincident. Um on the on the other hand, you did you did you did uh, alert us to the the pizza girl meme, so that's pretty funny. Yeah, I guess we'll take six and go to eleven. <laughs> this is not a deck I was expecting to one two with, but I, oh well, look look how presumptuous I was. I'm gonna go one two with this deck. Sorry guys, that was a little that was a little bold of me. Uh, What I meant was, this was a deck that I didn't think I would go best, at best, 1-2 with. That was 
That's less presumptuous. On the bright side, we're going to get to hop in that queue a lot faster than we thought. This is still going to go up on YouTube, by the way. <clears throat> Make no mistake, you are going to get to see this this monstrosity in all its glory. The deck seems good on paper. We got a bunch of wizards. We got the super strong legendary planeswalker spells, but we don't. We have only have four legendaries. I agree, it's not a ton, but it's still not a. Why wouldn't? I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. Whatever. <clears throat> Elk Tears, did I not thank you for your sub? Elk Tears, I love you. You're my favorite of the Elk Tears clan. Of all the Elk Tears I've ever seen. If they have the pump, I'm just going to cry. I'll leave and cry. It's okay. We go to three, guys. We got this game. We totally got this. Oh, my God. Pay costs. Jesus. Give me a break. Oh, this is die to this guy, don't we? Why don't they, why didn't they kill us? Couldn't they have killed us? Sack this guy, sack the elf? Eight, couldn't they? I'm just done. That's the second time our opponent has been able to kill us and they didn't, they didn't kill us. Do these people not know how their cards work? I don't understand. We haven't won a game yet. This is unbelievable to me. Unbelievable. This is the hand. <clears throat> this is it, guys. We did it. That's twice my opponent has had the kill on board, and they're like, nah, I'm good. I don't get it. This is like the weirdest draft I've ever done. Ever. Not only do we get four legendary rares, two Jai's Immolating Infernos, we also, both two different matches, our opponents had lethal, and they were like, nah, I'd rather play more stuff, I'm good. Ammo too, so I'm gonna drop no matter what. I just want to see. We can... uh, I will keep this hand. That's cool. Their opponent was like, "I'll just, I'm gonna drop anyway, dude. So you don't, don't, don't scoop, okay?" But uh, little does he know that I would not scoop because I am, or that I don't. Doesn't matter. I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I'm basically drunk on this draft. I'm draft drunk right now. Oh, look how perfect. The, the most perfect hand that ever was. This hand is literally the equivalent of MTG throwing me a bone. They're like, hey, don't look. See, now they give us this. It's perfect. It's beautiful. It has everything I've ever wanted. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are not a wizard, my friend. You're not a wizard, Hattie. Well, now they're just giving us this. Look at now we have all of the uh all the things. I don't like playing this guy when I have another wizard, but that's life, man. Life is playing journey, playing pizza girls when you don't have wizards. That's a quote right there. <laughs> look at that, dude. Look at that. Look at that sassy. I'm just going to arcane flight this guy. Go. Spread your flying wing. Otherwise, he's got to be blocked. So I'll just deal you five. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> All right. See now we're now we're now we got a game. Boop boop boop. Boop boop boop. 
Gonna shoot all the things. Why are you 0-2 with your deck? You're gonna untap this guy? Yeah, that's... Oh, he still lived. That's sad. We were one damage away from killing him forever. Well, if we draw a land, we can just go Temporal Sundering, bounce this guy, and then they're dead. What a, what a spider. Look at this. This game went perfectly. Why can't all our games go like this? <clears throat> Got him. What a what a what an amazing game. This deck is unbeatable. It's not, but puts a smile on my face. Yeah, this hand's keepable. Oh my god. Amazing. What was my temporal blundering? What was the blundering? How dare you? How dare you, pernicious dude? Or should I say pernicious snood? Pernicious rude is more like it. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Way to go, you. You did very good. We're all very proud in the stream. I don't care about that. None of these things are wizards. They're all artificers. Yeah, I, I know it just rhymes with Sunder. That's why I was calling you out, because I'm like, you can't back that up. You don't have any proof, sir. Uh, this, this spider is going... I've seen more and more of this spider. Oh, we're going to be snapping soon, boy. This is what happens when you drink the bong water before the... How dare you? Oh, that guy's big. I have a real problem with this guy's existence. On bright side, when we get to nine mana, we can go barrage and fire fist add up this guy. So I think we're in good shape. I don't have a way to deal with this one five five. Can I give this guy death touch? Why does that deal four instead of five? I don't understand. Oh, I see. Well. Oh, the haste. Oh, that's haste. Oh, boy. Oh. I see. My discomfort is at maximum right now. God, even I double block this guy, it's terrible, right? <clears throat> of course it is, Frank. Thank you. Thank you, chat person. I'm not enjoying our... <laughs> I think we deal with the Abomination the way we've always dealt with the Abomination. By drawing Jai's Emulating Inferno and not having a Legendary on the field. It's a time-tested strategy. You're not wrong. This is, uh, actually, I my father first taught me the ways of drawing Jai's Emulating Inferno with no Legendary on the battlefield. And, uh, boy... It was a thing. Well, we know they have the plus two, plus two. Is that just a card in your hand? It doesn't matter what comes, rich goes better in life. Wow, one wild onslaught is pretty good here. Oh boy, you're gonna wild onslaught, aren't you? Come on, three matches in a row, people are gonna wild onslaught me? You're gonna play. You're gonna plus four, plus four, and untap, aren't you? 
You totally are. Oh, you sacked that guy. Okay. Well. Oh, God. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I want to pay, my, I want to pay nine mana a different way. I'm going to go about this nine mana thing. Uh, uh, oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. I'm having a good time. Okay. Oh, look, we did it. It would have been, that would have been the strategy. Just draw Jai's of Millennium Inferno without a legendary. Oh, our strategy would have been so complete there. Oh, man. Oh, single paint number two. You're definitely coming in. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, once I start singing the Mentos theme song, it's really the darkest timeline. You know what? Keeping it. I don't care. Wow, I think we stuck to that. This draft has been amazing on so many levels. The called Yogmoth's Vial Offering, the Pizza Girls, the... Um, the uh the 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 call to Jaya Zimulating Inferno. Having a good time. Well, I would love another red, but I, I'm more worried about... I'm... I really do want another red, but I'm more worried about the black here. I'm going to get the black. This is one of our few ways to get black, and our deck is chock full of red. How many legendaries? There are four legendaries in our deck. I hope you are not recording this. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. It's a little too late to back out now, though. A double red card. I see. I understand now. I get it. This hand is amazing. It just needs a certain thing. I can't put my finger on it. It's a certain je ne sais quoi, I would say. Oh god, yes, use that ability, please. Discard card. I'll get rid of island. Oh, biscuits. Legendary Sorcery Tron. <laughs> guess. Absolute guess. All right, so you pump this guy to 5-5. Five, five. I'll trade both of these guys for both of your guys, if you'd like. Of course, if you just pump it to a 9-9, nine, nine, then I'm going to feel terrible. But, you know. Oh, but then we can exile this guy and then play it if we hit a, if we hit a land. We can go Rona, exile the Skittering Skibberdeer, and then play it. Which seems very, very good. Oh my god, and it goes to the graveyard. <gasps> Everything's working out. This game's going to be perfect. That's fine. That's basically... You basically just took a turn off. Well, we didn't draw the land. So that's unfortunate. Huh. If we just attack for five... It puts a much bigger target. Mm. 
Adept doesn't do anything. It just deals one. All right. Let's get floating. I also want to put a target on this guy's head. I want to be. I want to have a 5-3. And if you kill it, then Rona probably survives. If you don't, then we still have a 5-4 on board with float. I'm okay with that. You hear these police cars outside? They're coming for you guys. Uh, no blocks. I will take thrice. I think we just made... I think we did it. I think we did it, boys. Oh, God. I clicked them to get the turn, too. Can you imagine? I'd be like, oh, you could have the turn. Here we go. Here we go. Kill everything. Woo. <clears throat> Got all of them. I didn't, get to play, I didn't even get to play offering. I didn't even get to play my third my third legendary sorcery. Either way, that match was worth it all. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. Support my content there if you'd like. And I'll see you next time.